wrestling fans, welcome to another edition of NWA Smoky Mountain TV. I'm your host, Matt Rhodes, and folks, here today on the program, an exclusive matchup that you only see right here. That for the Southeastern Heavyweight Championship, Jason the Gift Kincaid will be defending the title against Michael Elgin in what people have been calling the greatest match in NWA Smoky Mountain Wrestling history. I was there live, called the action, you'll see it in just a moment, and I cannot, do, I cannot help but agree with the fans that have said this is the greatest match ever held inside an NWA Smoky Mountain Wrestling Ring, and you will see it again in its entirety today exclusively here on the program. But folks, we have news concerning Summer Bash 2016 featuring the Outsiders, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash of the New World Order coming to the Evolution Sports Gym on Friday night, June 24th at 103 Smoky Mountain Place in Elizabethan, Tennessee. And that news is Chase Owens is not going to be there in attendance and in the main event. Due to his commitments internationally, Chase Owens will have to bow out of that matchup. No doubt that is disappointing, and we do hate that for the NWA Smoky Mountain Wrestling fans. Big things, though, coming for Chase Owens in his international commitments, but we did find a very suitable replacement for Buff Bagwell in that big tag team matchup against the agency, and that being the returning Toby Farley. And Toby Farley has had a long history with the agencies, Vince Brent, Jordan Cage, Chris Richards, and he is looking for retribution on the 24th of June on a Friday night with Buff the Stuff Bagwell. But right now here to kick off the program, let's take a special look at what has led up to Toby Farley returning to action here at NWA Smoky Mountain Wrestling and his long-standing feud with Dylan Wayne Sizemore and the agency. Richards was out here to help him. Owen said, not this way. One, two, three. Jordan Cage has won the Smoky Mountain Cup Tournament. Oh, my God. Picture perfect with, wow, a Cinderella finish. Hey, hey Scott. I got to do it, man. Smoky Mountain Cup winner. Toby Farley was designated to present the trophy tonight. Oh, wait a minute. Do you oh, see this? Oh, wait a minute. He's paying him off. Toby Farley's injured. I don't – this is not a good call, Mike. All right, this is not good. Referee is down. There's nobody to stop this. Ch Chase is out. The referee's down. And Toby's walking into the lines then. Don't get in that ring, man. Please, dude, don't do it. Oh, man, this was similar to the last time, last month, with the Mountain Empire Championship, now the trophy. Jordan Case says, give me my trophy. Wow. I did not see this coming. Jordan Cage, the 2016 NWA National Wrestling Alliance Smoky Mountain Cup, Cup, Cup Tournament winner. Wow. Now the number one contender to Jax Dane in the NWA World Heavyweight title. Can't get enough of NWA Smoky Mountain? Do you enjoy watching NWA Smoky Mountain TV and want to see more of your favorite stars? Then I have good news for you. Our website, NWASmokyMountain.com, is the place you need to be for all the exclusive news, exclusive matches, exclusive blogs by your favorite NWA Smoky Mountain stars, and much more. Are you looking for a new and exciting way to raise money for your organization? Contact the offices of NWA Smoky Mountain today. For the past 10 years, NWA Smoky Mountain has raised lots of money for many great organizations. For more information, call 423-773-5449 or 423-631-9110 and bring NWA Smoky Mountain to your town. 
Hello, I'm Ken Daffron. And I'm Gail. We're owners of Dalton Direct Carpets in Kings Point. We're featuring Caress Carpet from Shaw Industries. Carpets are soft. It makes you want to take your shoes off and play or even take a nap on the floor. Financing is available. That's at Dalton Direct Carpets, Bloomingdale Road in Kingsport. Are you experiencing neck pain, back pain, or headaches? Muse Family Chiropractic can help. Dr. Alan Muse provides a complete assessment using state-of-the-art technology to determine the cause of the pain and offers advanced treatments to help you find your way to a healthier, pain-free life. At Muse Family Chiropractic, we provide chiropractic care for the whole family, from newborns to great-grandparents, and we accept most insurances. At Muse Family Chiropractic, you're not just a patient, you're family. Call us today at 247-5000. Get the cash you need fast with Tennessee Title Loans. Located on East Stone Drive in Kingsport. He forgot the belt. He forgot the belt the first time he came through the curtain. Introducing first, he is accompanied to the ring by Brian Wayne. He hails from New River Gorge in Fayette County, West Virginia. He is the current reigning and defending NWA Southeastern Heavyweight Champion, weighing 201 pounds. He is Jason. The gift, King K.
is a former Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 260 pounds, he is unbreakable, Michael Elgin. Southeastern Heavyweight Championship on the line four and three quarters years Once again, fans, this as champion. Is for one fall and is for the NWA Southeastern Heavyweight title. Your referee for this contest is Brandon Cox. 30 minute title contest here. This is not our main event of the evening. Henceforth is why it's a 30 minute time limit between Big Mike Elgin, the former Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion, the current one of the current biggest stars in New Japan Pro Wrestling against Jason Kincaid, who is indeed, as I've stated before, the best unsigned talent in the world of professional wrestling today. And they're going to lock horns here tonight. Jason Kincaid, the Kinovator, if you will. Mike Elgin, unbreakable. And here we go, Brandon Cox calls for the bell. And this title matchup is underway. It looks like Brian Wayne's been tossed from ringside. Walk up, collar and elbow here. And uh, big Mike Elgin is no gimmick. This indeed is a bigger man in the ring. Look how, look how strong this man looks. Shooter Mike Cooper. Would you like to have faced off against Mike Elgin back in your prime? Oh, yeah, that would have been great. Yeah. Back in my prime when I could actually go, yeah, that would have been a dream match for me. Right now, not so much. But I don't know. Jason Kincaid might be in a lot of trouble here tonight, but Big Bring Mike calls himself unbreakable, and Jason had one, one word, well, one comment on that. Challenge accepted. Well, it indeed is going to be a challenge tonight for both men. I believe Kincaid is facing the toughest task of his four and a half year reign as champion tonight. His, he's, he's had many great competitors take him to the limit. And you can think of some of those great competitors, but Mike Elgin is a man with a resume a mile long in this sport. And I believe stands a great opportunity here to walk out of here as the Southeastern heavyweight champion and to rack more gold in his collection. What a stiff shot there by unbreakable Mike Elgin. Great exchange here, side headlock applied by Kincaid. And they're trying to pick him up here for a belly to back and push him off the ropes. Both men meet for a shoulder tackle and Kincaid stands. The Going for another. Oh, he backed uh, Elgin up now off the ropes. Rick Shelley caught him with a high cross body and power slam. And Michael Elgin, yes, sir, he is uh, all that and more. And Jason Kincaid selling to the corner here. Oh, man. Big clothesline. What's he got in mind here? To pick him up. Whoa. Look at the power, Matt. Holy 
Holy cow, wow! I have never seen a crowd count to 30, <laughs> and I don't think I've ever seen that kind of impressive power on display. And a cover and a kick they, out at two. Not only were they counting to 30, he was holding them with one arm. And that proves a point, folks, that the folks of East Tennessee can count to 30. For those that like to <laughs> knock us around here, we can count. And now Elgin and Kincaid spill to the floor, an uppercut by the gift. And now here are no man's land on the outside. Knife hands chop from the champion. And he may have woke him up. Oh! Jesus! Man, that hurt me, Matt. And a big chop. Oh, my God! And they're on the outside. Referee's going with him. He's letting it go. Championship on the line here. Big match implications here. They're getting a little bit closer. They're to the front row. And they're he had off, a of, fan hold off, his of, foot up. off of a fan there in the front row. And Kincaid. In a bad way. He goes for a shot there across the back of Mike Elgin. And the uppercut and S-Mash on the floor. This is not no disqualification, although the referee's letting some things go here. You cannot win the match on the outside. Well, referee Brandon Cox doing, Cox doing the right thing and giving a little leeway here. Definitely so. Watch out. He's asking people to move. Oh, <laughs> the little kid. <laughs> Incredible. What in the world is Mike Elgin doing? He's, uh, he's pulling more younger members of our audience out of, this, out of the crowd. I have never seen nothing like this in my life. Jason Kincaid, <laughs> meet oh, the feet. Man. <laughs> and of our youngest members of the audience, I bet that. That has made their, made their days for sure. Wow, incredible. Great job there, Michael Elgin. But, hey, it's, it's a working here. The offensive arsenal has got Kincaid down as they go back to the ring. Elgin setting up for maybe another stiff clothesline here. Kincaid with the speed advantage, rolls out of the way, drop kick to the knee. And Elgin takes him down with a leg whip. Kincaid favoring that left knee. We'll be trying to roll out of the ring here, but Big Mike, like a shark in the water, smells a little bit of blood, and he's going to work on it. Submission hold applied, Mike Cooper. That's Big Mike Elgin. Oh, he's going to get a handful of Elgin's beard. Kincaid's been there a time or two. Look out here. Big Mike Elgin is not just... He's not just powerful, he's got so much finesse, and he's fast. To be a big guy, absolutely. This man can move quicker than a hiccup. But look how he's got the knee worked over here in this matchup. Doing a great job of picking the body apart. Oh, man! That big 275-pound plus frame coming down on that knee. Matt, Jason might be in some serious trouble here tonight. I like how early on in this matchup he's, he's picked that body part. <laughs> he, and he just told Eric Foster, hey, you might want to move. <laughs> well, it gives him fair warning this time. He's going to try to superplex him into the ring here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Oh, good God. Great counter by Kincaid, and Elgin's head bounced off the canvas like a basketball. And this, this the Kinnovator Ken is favoring the knee, but now pouncing, trying to get some momentum here with aggressiveness. Champion till I die. He very, very well may be, but he's got a tall order here. Now that was just, just the break that he needed, too. Absolutely. Right now, Jason Kincaid doing what he does best here. Oh, I thought he was going for the grave of the Fireflies, but this time pulling back on the bridge of the nose and now an elbow right to the nose, maybe breaking it here. Trying to bloody up Mike Elgin. And Kincaid now with a stiff 
shot there with the boot to the midsection. Now blatant choke. Now there's some things the referee will let go. This isn't one of them. And Matt Rhodes, have you noticed every time we see Jason Kincaid, he's in a little bit better shape than the last time? This man's always improving his physique, especially his in-ring skills. Does something different every time you see the man. This ain't no plain Jane superstar you're seeing. This man is unique and one of the best at what he does in the world today. And an Ig Knife Edge chop. And that's why he's been our champion for almost five years now. Hard to believe, almost five years. A lot of things have changed in five years, but Jason Kincaid has gotten a lot better. But Mike Elgin right now is <laughs> maybe the best in the world at that knife edge top. Power slam real close to the ropes there. Hard area of the ring to land in. So that was a well-pointed well move by Mike Elgin. Elgin, though, he's, he's, still, he's still shuck up from, the, uh, from that uh, big spot there in the corner where he hit his head on the mat. What's that? Oh, the knees are up. And Mike Elgin may have took a little too much time unintentionally there. They may have cost him as Kincaid has garnered, garnered the momentum here momentarily. And right now, Jason the Gift Kincaid stalking his opponent here. And he may have Mike Elgin right where he wants him. You know, Mike Elgin, again, one of the Biggest stars in New Japan Pro Wrestling. One of the top stars of Ring of Honor. I don't know if he's overlooking Kincaid, but Kincaid's been looked over enough, and I think he's using it right now to fuel his aggression. Kincaid, remember the battle with Leo Rush at the Smoky Mountain Cup? Kincaid feels he should be in Ring of Honor, competing night in and night out with the names like Michael Elgin. Well, and a win here tonight can prove that point. Absolutely, and Kincaid is very deserving of that platform, in my opinion. Don't understand, don't understand why it's not happened. Unquestionably. We can't do nothing to change it. But right now, Kincaid can only do what he can do, and that's defend this championship here tonight. Mike Elgin right now, having none of Jason Kincaid's chops. He's saying, give it to me. And he is. God almighty. Took him, almost cut him in half. My goodness. And those big chops, time in and time in in this matchup, you got to wonder <laughs> the shape of J Kincaid's chest. Yeah, he'll feel that one tomorrow morning and probably two weeks from now. And now these stiff forearm shots. And again, the stiff forearm shot from Elgin. And another one. And pretty much Kincaid said, hit me harder. And he did. What an exchange here, Mike Cooper. Two of the best in the world. Just beating the snot out of each other. That's all you can say about it. Kincaid staggers, bounces off the middle rope, comes back with a little extra momentum, and these fans are loving what they're seeing here tonight. Kincaid now going for the ropes. Bicycle kick from Elgin. And these fans are loving it. Kicked him right out of the ring, which, you know, not exactly where he wants the man either because you can't win the title on the floor. No, but you can do a lot of damage to your opponent on the floor. Uh, yes. Our cameraman found that a little bit earlier tonight. He's still out here. Yes, you can. Hey, we got the toughest cameraman in the world. Toughest cameraman in the business, no doubt, but these two men are tough right here. They've uh, put a beating on each other. They've beaten each other, I mean, giving them an old-fashioned whipping. And Mike <laughs> Elgin, a little thumbs up, a little pose. Side headlock here applied on the outside. Oh, he chopped the post. Oh, and that has got to hurt. And that may have went in Kate's favor as Elgin may have broke his hand. Oh, very easily could have broke his hand on that. He's he got a water bottle. Hello, Fuzzy. We about got a shower all the way over here. <laughs> a little of it did hit me. <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's some uh, that's some uh, height right there. Hit off the apron there. <laughs> Shows Jason, the impact. Yeah, high impact there with the water bottle. 
I'm just glad it wasn't mine because I'm probably going to need it before this one's over with. <laughs> you aren't kidding. He's got him in the beard here, an uppercut on the floor. Elgin stands on his two feet, but is wobbly. And any time you're out here on the concrete. Oh, man! Do you feel that? The velocity of that high European uppercut here. As the action is moving away from the ring, as we uh, see on our monitor here, the action spilling over toward the uh, exits here. Over the autograph area. Yeah, merchandise vendors better roll, run. They're using chairs and everything else. I mean, I remind you, this is not a notice qualification match. He's going to get him up. He's going to give him a scoop slam on the chairs. Big Mike Elgin. And referee might want to check on Kincaid after that body slam. And here comes the chance. Oh, and Kincaid took way too much time. Then Mike Elgin and the chops from the gift. Oh, what a stiff shot there. Oh, Kincaid down to the floor. Kincaid begging off now. Fans wanting tables here. I don't know if that's legal, but. I don't think they're going to get them. I don't. It really doesn't matter at this point. They've brawled all over the building. Both men slowly, slowly getting up to their feet here. It's been a beating here. Ooh, what's oh, he going wait a for? Now the referee's reminding me here the pile driver is illegal, even though it's on the outside on the apron. No. DDT on the ring apron. A kid Cade. Slides back into the ring. Cover, he may have him put away. One, two, near fall. Jesus. So close 15 there. 15 minutes have elapsed in the time limit. 15 minutes remain. Yeah. 30 minute time limit. We've already been halfway through this thing. And these two men are already spent. And Kincaid has Elgin in a good spot here in the middle of the ring. Referee Brandon Cox checking the arm here. Going for the three, no! Elgin still has a little bit of fight left. How much does he have left is the question. And the fans of Smoky Mountain Wrestling chanting Big Mike. Trying to wheel unbreakable Mike Elgin on here. And he breaks it. McKincaid right back to it. Flings him off. Oh, man. Oh, he threw him. That looked familiar. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> And this man has uh, pulled everything out of the book here. Modified T-bone suplex. Now can he go for the cover? I don't think I ever threw one that hard. <laughs> I would have to agree with you. And you threw some hard ones, my friend. Wow. <laughs> Good Cade is still And King Cade's getting up. Yeah, yeah. How, how is he getting up? I don't understand. Mike Elgin's up, though. And he's coming. Big forearm, leaping forearm. Let me hit the ropes here. Again with that leaping forearm. For it again, no ducks under. Standing switch. Again, a standing switch from Kincaid going for a German. Oh, rolls him out to the floor. And Mike Elgin says, come on, Kingsport. Oh, my God. Oh, he brings him. Oh, he caught him with a power slam. Jesus Christ, what a move. Three, oh man, so oh. close. <laughs> in freaking incredible. I've never seen that before. Man. Only here, folks, in WA Smoky Mountain. And the Remember fans, that name, folks. The fans are definitely, definitely appreciating this one. 
Got the boot here. Spins him around. Ah, gonna roll him into the corner here. Trying to go for a German. Build the world slam there. Cover, lateral press from Mike Elgin. Two, and a near fall. In the close counts here, the near falls here in this matchup. Elgin has been so close to the championship. And how would you like to be the man that has thrown a champion of four and a half years? You know, that, that would be, I don't care who you are, that's a big accomplishment. If a man is able to hold on a title for five, almost five years against the caliber of competition that he's held on to it against. Elgin going for a sharpshooter. And the uh, Kincaid reversed. Oh. It's a Geary. Man, you just don't see big men like this doing the athletic moves like Enzigiri's very often. Mike Elgin, one of the only few that can pull it off. You're going to cut him. Falcons arrow. The Kinnovator. One, two, three. Oh, so close. Almost put him away there with the Falcons arrow. And Kincaid is spent. Trying to pull himself up here. Both men laying everything they have out on the line for this title because this title is so important. Jason Kincaid has elevated this title to a level. Everybody is coming here after it. Yeah, people want to be here in Smoky Mountain because they want to be the champion. They want to beat this man because they know where he's going to be one day, and that's going to be worldwide recognition. Kincaid up with the double stomp rolls through. Goes for a close line, blocked. Goes for the neck breaker. Ends up with a face buster there. Oh my God, from the apron. Kincaid DDT. I don't know if that's what he intended to happen, but it was effective. Oh man, it almost had the match won. Man, what an impressive display here. Jason back Kincaid, up. Kincaid, no oh, stop to the it. top. He got it this time. This is it. One, two, no. Jesus. Minutes Are you kidding me? Time limit, 10 minutes remain. 10 minutes remain. 10 minutes remain in this time limit, but the pace these guys are going, they're going to need a shovel to get them out of the ring if it goes to 30. I know there's only 10 minutes left, but, uh, you know, I don't want this to ever end. Could this we watch it awesome. all night? Could we watch it all night, folks? I mean, come on. This is this is damn good wrestling right here. Went for the coast to coast. Elgin caught him. Went for the sharpshooter. He's got it. Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter on Kincaid. And Kincaid's in a bad way. Needs to make it to the ropes or he may be. He's got to try to make it to the ropes here. A really tap he got there. And now the referee, Brandon Cox, has to call for the break. I mean, how many times, Mike, have we seen the sharpshooter put some of the biggest names in this industry away? But Kincaid breaks it last second. Yeah, but you see the damage is done. He's holding that knee. The damage, yes, has been done. Question is, is it too much damage for Kincaid to overcome? I don't know. This could be the night. What a vicious shot there. And then from behind. Oh, and Mike Elgin. God, I'd hate to meet him in a back alley. I think a grizzly bear would hate to meet him in a back alley. Springboard by Kincaid. Oh, no. He got him. Kincaid fighting for his life now with the standing switch now. Pushes him into the corner. Oh, what an elbow shot to the forearm. And Kincaid is out on his feet. And Elgin is giving it his all here. Oh, oh bicycle kick to the face. It didn't even phase him. Close line. Wow. How in this world? Up. Oh. Power bomb! Pin one, two, three, no! Oh! So close. Seriously? Kicked out of a power bomb. You're talking about men pushing their bodies to the limit tonight. You're seeing it. 
First hand on display. As Elgin, I, I gotta, I gotta wonder if he's thinking, what the heck do I have to do at this point? Do I have to kill this man? <laughs> well, Jason says, champion till I die. <laughs> Maybe that's the case. Well, Elgin's Seven making a case for murder here because he's Seven putting Kincaid through, uh, through the ringer. Then understand it says seven minutes left. Down, we have a new champion here too. Three, oh, so close. <laughs> Matt Rhodes, I don't know about you, but whew, <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> yeah, and a stiff one after this one. These men may need stiffer. Well, They've been putting their bodies through hell here. <laughs> what these men are going to need after this match is a nap and a hot tub. Well, if Elgin has his way, Kincaid may need a doctor. That might be what it's going to take to oh, beat he's him. He's going to go for the oh, power bomb again. Yeah. Going to go for the power bomb. No. Kincaid blocks it. Single leg tech down here. Going for the sharpshooter again. Going for that sharpshooter. Kincaid now battling for the life of his championship here. Because I don't know if he gets locked into that uh, sharpshooter again, it may be over with. Oh, he went for a Hurricane Rana. Elgin has caught him. And it ain't going to end well. Oh, no! He reversed it into the corner. I've called a lot of fantastic matches, but this one right here is looking to be one of the best I've ever seen. Absolutely. Springboard again by Kincaid. Oh, to the referee, and down goes Mr. Cox. Big shot there. Go for the power ball. Oh, in the corner. Oh. But Brian Wayne's out here. Sit out, power bomb. Two, three, we should have a new champion. But no. Five minutes remaining in the time limit. Five minutes. Well, we need to Brian referee. Wayne is out here. And for those of you who don't know who Brian Wayne is, he was a, a man known for his hardcore style in the late 90s and early 2000s here in this area. One of the toughest men you'll ever come across. And that's the reason Kincaid, I believe, has aligned himself with this man is because Wayne is crazy. And he's crazy enough to get involved here. Here he comes on the apron. Is he? Oh, yeah, come get you some. Down he goes. The tease. But he's providing the strike. Oh, Kincaid's got the title. He's got the championship. Off the skull. God almighty. Referee, not this way. One, two, three. No! Oh, God. Look at the look on Jason Kincaid's face. It's Four the same minutes. look that everybody in this building has. But more importantly, this match, I didn't expect the time limit to be a factor, but it is. Four, less than four minutes left, Coop. These two men have put it all on the line. It, what's it going to take in this crowd is definitely appreciating what they're seeing. Is he going to go coast to coast? I think so. He got it and he hit Elgin all the way across the ring. And Kid K says, count him out. Count him out. It's going to take the cheap win. No. But he would retain the championship. I think at this point he just wants to win. He doesn't care. Surely to God this thing's not. Three minutes. Surely to God this is not going to end in a double count out. Refs up to nine. And Elgin beats the ten count. At the last second he got back in the ring. Move to the side of the head. Green with a firefly. That should be it. One, two, three, no! <laughs> oh, look at the shock on the face of Jason Kincaid as he watches Big Mike muscle out of his finishing maneuver. 
Dang, or, dang, I'll tell you what, Elgin can't even stand up at this point. Both men are spin. I know the time limit has to be getting close here. Oh, and a maniacal look in the eyes of Jason Kincaid. That's just scary. And I don't know how the man even is still alive at this point, functioning. Oh, he slapped the man right across the face. No. Dangerous ground up here. 90 seconds. Oh, he's going for the grave of the Fireflies from the top rope, and Elgin is blocking it. He's blocking it. Oh, oh. my God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God, no. Oh, my God. He got it from the top. That's got to be it. It's over. One, two, three. No. And Elgin says, come on! Dang! Oh. Decapitated him! That's got to be it! One, two, two three! Oh, again! Again! So freaking close! He's going for the sharpshooter! He's going for the sharpshooter again! He's going for the sharpshooter! 20 seconds. Oh, can 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 Kincaid get to the ropes or to hold on? Seconds. Will Kincaid Eight. tap out? Nine. He's Eight. got him in the center of the ring. Seven. Kincaid, will he tap? Five. Four, three, two, one. And Kincaid tapped out as the bell rang. What? Did he tap before the bell rung? Did, yeah, yeah did, did he tap out? Did he tap out? Did he tap? Yeah, he, he's, he's saying no, time limit. Ladies and gentlemen, the time limit has expired in this match. I'd like to see a replay of that. Contest is Bruce. Jason Kincaid did not tap until after the bell rang and the time expired. I'd like to see a replay this of that. This is a time limit draw. I'd like to see a replay of that. I really would. I don't. I'll, that was so still close. Your NWA Southeastern. Oh no 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 hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. Elgin's got something he wants to say. There's a reason why I chose not to sign an exclusive deal with Ring of Honor. It was because I wanted to come to places like the NWA Smoky Mountain and wrestle wrestlers like Jason and Wow. Very few things in life that I do that only last 30 minutes. So, <laughs> so Jason Kincaid, they ask for five more minutes. I say we do this till there's a damn winner. Wow! Oh my God! <laughs> This place is electric right now.
No deal. Wow. Well, that was a shocker. Due to the time limit draw, still the NWA Southeastern champion, Jason Can't get enough of NWA Smoky Mountain? Do you enjoy watching NWA Smoky Mountain TV and want to see more of your favorite stars? Then I have good news for you. Our website, NWASmokyMountain.com, is the place you need to be for all the exclusive news, exclusive matches, exclusive blogs by your favorite NWA Smoky Mountain stars, and much more. Are you looking for a new and exciting way to raise money for your organization? Contact the offices of NWA Smoky Mountain today. For the past 10 years, NWA Smoky Mountain has raised lots of money for many great organizations. For more information, call 423-773-5449 or 423-631-9110 and bring NWA Smoky Mountain to your town. Hello, I'm Ken Daffron. And I'm Gail. We're owners of Dalton Direct Carpets in Kingsport. We're featuring Caress Carpet from Shaw Industries. Carpets are soft that makes you want to take your shoes off and play or even take a nap on the floor. Financing is available. That's at Dalton Direct Carpets, Bloomingdale Road in Kingsport. Are you experiencing neck pain, back pain, or headaches? Muse Family Chiropractic can help. Dr. Alan Muse provides a complete assessment using state-of-the-art technology to determine the cause of the pain and offers advanced treatments to help you find your way to a healthier, pain-free life. At Muse Family Chiropractic, we provide chiropractic care for the whole family, from newborns to great-grandparents, and we accept most insurances. At Muse Family Chiropractic, you're not just a patient, you're family. Call us today at Get the cash you need fast with Tennessee Title Loans. Located on East Stone Drive in Kingsport.
Folks, another huge matchup that is set to take place on Friday night, June 24th, is for the United States Tag Team Championships of the National Wrestling Alliance. The Tag Team Champions, the Heat Seekers, will defend against the Cabal. That's Jason the Gift Kincaid and the Giant Travis Lee. It was just a few weeks ago here on the program, the Giant came into the auditorium and stole the Tag Team Championships away from the Heat Seekers. There's been a big chain of events that's took place since that time, and we'll recap that right now as we preview the big matchup coming up on Friday night, June 24th, featuring the Outsiders, Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Uh-oh. All men are down here, and the referee is not kept. Whoa, 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 wait a minute here. Hang None on a second. The, yeah. Hey, there's the giant. We've not seen him since tag team turmoil. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's, hey, he's coming over here. I thought he was coming over here for, he's got the tag, tag team titles. He's got the tag team championships. He's walked out of here with them. You're somewhere. He's taking the belts. You go that way. I'll go this way. All right. Find him the elf for right. you. Hey, Stephen. Go. Get off. Get off. How dare you? How dare you take something that doesn't belong to you? This. This right here. This is cabal property. Folks, what a fantastic matchup we saw here today on the program. And let us know your opinions by signing off on our social media at facebook.com slash NWA Smoky Mountain. Let us know what you thought of the huge main event matchup you saw today between Jason Kincaid and Michael Elgin. And the action you saw in the ring, folks, you can see it live. NWA Smoky Mountain Wrestling coming to a town near you starting tonight. Sneedville, Tennessee. More on that in just a moment. But the event we have talked about all day long coming up on Friday night, June the 24th at the Evolution Sports Gym, Elizabeth in Tennessee featuring the WWE Hall of Famers, the NWO, the Outsiders, Scott Hall, and Big Sexy Kevin Nash. Folks, the meet and greet, we're going to start at 6.30 p.m. Be sure to get your tickets by going to NWASmokeyMountain.com. Also, you'll have your chance to meet Buff Bagwell, who's going to be involved in our new main event that night as he teams now with Toby Farley to take on the agencies Jordan Cage and Chris Richards. What a big main event that'll be, plus the United States Tag Team Championships on the line. The Heat Seekers, they are going to face the Cabal, who has the possession of the United States Tag Team Championships can the Heat Seekers gain those championship title belts back? We'll find out on June 24th, Friday night at the Elizabethan Evolution Sports Gym, 103 Smoky Mountain Place. That is just a few short weeks away, and folks, we'll talk more over the next coming weeks. I hear there's some other big matches being signed for that card, and don't forget to go to NWASmokyMountain.com right now for your chance to get front row and second row Golden Circle tickets. For that event, they are selling quickly, almost sold out at this time, so be sure to check out our website right now. But folks, coming up one week from tonight, Great Tennessee, Daniel Boone High School, big event as we're going to be there with the Fountain of Life Bible Church for the big car and bike show at 6 p.m. with a free wrestling card featuring WWE legend and WCW legend, former world heavyweight champion, the total package, Lex Luger. He's going to be there signing your autographs at a special time, again, free admission, so absolutely no cost to meet the total package Lex Luger one week from tonight. Let's talk about the NWA Smoky Mountain Wrestling card as we're going to see Air America. They're going to team up to take on the agencies Jordan Cage and Vince Brent. Big tag team matchup there. Also, Axton Ray faces the tallest 
challenge of his career as he puts the television championship on the line against Chris Richards. That and a lot more one week from tonight. Free admission at the Daniel Boone High School, Great Tennessee, featuring WWE and WCW legend, the Total Package, Lex Luger. But coming up tonight, Sneedville, Tennessee, huge fundraiser for the Hancock County Rescue Squad there at the old high school gym. Folks, you want to be there at 7.30 p.m. tonight in Sneedville for a main event, triple threat for the NWA Mountain Empire Championship. Vince Brent will defend that championship against Skyler Cruz, Nick Hammonds. 33% chance of walking out of Sneedville, Tennessee tonight as champion. Will we see the title change hands, folks? You can only be there to find out live tonight in Sneedville, Tennessee. Also, television championship will be on the line. Axton Ray will defend against Jeff Conley of Chaos. That will be an exciting one-on-one -on -one matchup. Also, we're going to see Kayla take on Danny Ferreira in a huge one-on-one -on -one ladies match tonight. Sneedville, Tennessee again at the old high school gym. NWA Smoky Mountain Wrestling coming to a town near you. You don't want to miss it and we are out of time. Be sure next week to join us here. Same time, same place for another exciting edition of NWA Smoky Mountain TV. I'm Matt Rhodes. So long for now.